Yeah, Will, so you ready? Man, boys and girls, I got a hot one in here for you guys today. But first, I gotta reintroduce myself, just in case you don't know. This is New Stuff TV, the untechnical tech channel, your new home for the best infotainment on YouTube. I'm your host, Antoine. Let's turn the lights down low and get this thing started today because we've got the BenQ GP500 in the house. Look at it, there it is in all of its glory. You see that lens back there? Yep, there it is. Now, as my intro stated, I'm not gonna get all into the technical stuff. You can go to BenQ's website and read all about that stuff. What I'm here to tell you about is how wonderful this thing is. Now, previously in my home, I was using the Nebula 4K laser projector, which is a great projector, but this one has since then replaced it because of its performance and brightness and just uh, the picture itself and everything that comes along with it, even some inputs and capabilities that it's capable of, which I'll go into in just a moment. Now, as you can see there, it is a 4K LED projector capable of HDR. Now, because of this little thing right here, it's also got a few tricks up its sleeve, like 2D auto keystone, obstacle avoidance, autofocus, and a couple of other things. All tricks aside, I want you to look at the overall aesthetics of this thing. You can see that 360 degrees around it, you'll see a speaker grill. That's because it has a Travolo acoustic design. 360 degrees worth of sound is what you're getting out of this thing. Now, Travolo is something than we've seen inside of a few other BenQ products in the past. Now, because of this design, you're not only gonna get 360 degrees worth of sound out of this thing, but you can also put it on a coffee table in front of you, on an end table on the side of you, on the left or the right, and you can go into settings and tell the projector whether it's on the right, center, or uh, the left side of you, and it will project a sound and it'll square up a nice little picture for you. Now let's continue with the field trip around this thing. On the top panel, on the front of it, you'll see a power button, a volume up and down, a Bluetooth pairing button, and this is a sensor right here. And then you have kind of like a, a rotary dial for your, uh, your zoom. Now this thing does zoom in quite well. I've actually had it all the way back. What I'm projecting on at home is a 120 inch screen and I have it about, ooh, let's say about 12 feet back. Maybe it could be a little closer, but I do not need to zoom for that. So yeah, this thing can zoom in really well, but you can also get up to a 150 inch picture on this thing. Now this is where I might have to get a little bit techy because this is where a few projectors have fallen short in my opinion, and that is HDMI inputs. It has two of them, okay? But the HDMI one is just a regular old HDMI. You can plug in your, your, uh, your Fire Stick or your PS5, Xbox, or whatever, your DVD player, your Blu-ray player, you can plug it into there. But this right here, this HDMI, Two with audio return, that's that arc. You need that arc, man. If you wanna hook up a dedicated audio system such as a sound bar and surround sound, you plug an HDMI cable into that and then you have your sound automatically connected and synced up with your projector. This is something that other projectors have actually failed me on before. You can connect via Bluetooth and it does work very well, but there's nothing like that hardwired connection to your true surround sound system. And then right here you have your optical input and then you have a 3.5 millimeter audio out. And on the right side of things, you got a, a two amp USB and then a one amp USB. Now, I don't know if you guys noticed or not, but this here is a projector. So we gotta let this thing show and prove its worthiness on New Stuff TV. So let's go check it out. All right, guys, I'm here watching Black Adam for the very first time. I've never actually seen this before. Some people say it was a horrific movie, like terrible movie by The Rock, who always plays The Rock in every movie. But I don't know, man, it's a, it's a superhero movie. So, you know, it is what it is, <laughs> but it's all right, man. And I'm checking it out on the BenQ GP500 and it, it looks good. As you can see, I got plenty of ambient light going on in here in the uh, with the couch lights on. Um, let me see if I can I'm gonna do a little test for you. I'm gonna do a couple of things right here. So right now I got all this ambient light going on right here and I can clearly watch this with no problems. And this actually is kind of a dark movie, but hey Google, turn the couch lights off. All right, here we are <clears throat> in total darkness. This is this is as dark as I can get this room. And, it, and the color and everything, the contrast, it does pop uh, quite a bit more, but we're talking about a projector in total darkness. But if you want to keep the lights on, hey Google, turn on the couch lights. 
man, it's, this is totally watchable. It is, in fact, uh, when I'm at home, I was actually gaming and watching some content upstairs in my movie area where I had the, 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 the blinds open on the right side of me as well as the blinds open on the left side of me. So I had a lot of ambient light coming in. So as far as enjoying all your content in rooms that are dimly lit or even moderately lit, I think this projector is gonna do a very, very good job. Now, one thing I did forget to mention is that it does come with a remote and I really, really like this BenQ remote because of a couple of things. It actually comes with all the stuff you need to do everything to the projector. You don't have to actually go to the projector to do anything. You got your power, you got your autofocus button up top in the middle, then you got your auto 2, 2D keystone up there at the top right. Then you got a kids button, then you got your input button, a prime video button. I'm glad they didn't use a whole bunch of dedicated video type or content buttons like Netflix and Disney Plus and stuff like that. Amazon is pretty common amongst a lot of people, so that one's good right there. But then you got your D-pad in the middle, you got your, uh, your back button or your return button, you got your home because it does come equipped with Android TV. It is built inside. So you got all your content ready to be watched in this already. Yeah, you do have to sideload Netflix in, inside of the B, uh, BenQ app, but you can get Netflix as well. Now you can see you got your Google Assistant button right there in the middle, but on the right side of it, these are two of my favorite buttons. The top button where you see that little gear, that is the Android TV settings button. But this one right here where it says projector menu, this gives you the projector menu, which is very, very important. So let me go ahead and go home. I wanna show you some menu settings that I think you guys will be very, very interested in because you got to get this thing set up. Now, I'll show you all the picture stuff. You got picture, you got mode, I got it in living room mode, and then you got some brightness controls and stuff like that, all the basic stuff, right? But then they got advanced color settings. We'll go into that and you can get into this gamma selection. Oh man, they got all kinds of stuff in here. Color temperature tuning, let's go into that. Look at this. So for all you people who are like super in tune with your movie content, uh, Dude, that is a lot of color options there. I'm, I'm not messing with none of that. I will screw that up so bad. <laughs> I wanna get out of here real quick though. So let's go into audio. You got your audio outputs. Now I have it on the Travolo setting because I am using the onboard speakers, the 360 degree sound, which sounds great by the way, but when it's at home and it's hooked up to my, um, my Adobe Atmos surround sound, I kick it down here to audio return and that makes it go into the HDMI port. So let's put it back on Travolo because that's where it needs to be for right now. And then we will get out of this. Oh, whoa, 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 we gotta go back. Let's go into this left and right channels because I need to show you this. Speaker or projector position is center, okay? That is not correct. The projector is actually on my right hand side. So that kind of kicks the sound to my right side or it, it projects from the right to make it more of a center feeling of the room. And if you put it on the left side of you, you put the projector settings on the left and then it will kind of balance it out that way. So I like having that there. So let's keep it on the right side. And then of course you got your balance, but there are also a couple of other things I wanna show you, man, as far as installation. Now settings such as this is telling me that projectors are gonna become a thing where the average person can just pick up one. If you can afford it, you can just pick up one with these nice features and set it and forget it. You don't have to worry about balancing this thing out and you know setting up a whole bunch of stuff calculating distances and stuff because the, the projector kind of does the work for you there's a lot of ai built into this thing now i don't know if you guys noticed but it is not on the coffee table it is sitting right here on my right hand side coffee table and it is catty corner so it is projecting an image at like a 45 degree angle but i got this thing squared up on here pretty darn good now let me show you how i did that Okay, I've taken the liberty of jacking up the picture completely so I can show you a couple of these AI features. You got 2D keystone, corner fit, screen fit, and object avoidance. This is where you could just set your projector here. It is at the corner of this, it's like on the side of me at a 45 degree angle, so check this out. In this particular case, I'll do screen fit because I need to uh, let it sit, it's like let it square itself up so it can actually fit on this 100 and, ten, or 100 and screen I'm projecting on. So I'll hit okay. And it's just gonna take its own measurements using that sensor on the front and it should just kind of fit itself on this screen. As we wait for it, wait for it and 
<laughs> come on, come on. There we go. It's happening. It's happening. It's calibrating. It's calculating. It's doing its thing. Boom shakalaka. You see that, man? You see that? And it's auto focusing right there. You see the corners? You see how sharp the corners are? It auto focused, it's sharp in the center, and it's sharp on all four corners. Now, if you can see there where we have Ben Q on the um, on the left bottom corner, uh, we can now go into another setting. Uh, it wasn't exactly squared up, so I'm gonna go into let's do corner fit now because I, I like my stuff like straight up, you know, like squared. Okay, so now we can adjust every corner you see this okay we can oh let's not do that let's not mess with that corner right there uh let's go let's back out of that corner and what we will do let's see if we can bring this one down no i don't want to touch this one let's bring this one up so i can actually show you let's bring up this bottom right hand corner let's bring it up so it aligns with the left or i'm sorry we're bringing up the bottom right hand corner so it aligns with the bottom left hand corner and that looks perfectly balanced and then we'll knock it in a little bit so it aligns with the top right hand corner and then let's see are we squared up oh no not quite let's take this um let's take this top left corner bring it out so it aligns no we need to bring that in let's bring that in and then we will go to the bottom corner and then we'll bring that one in as well and that way everything is squared up dude that is nice. It's so nice. You can get a perfect fit. Look, it's at a 45 degree angle and I've squared this thing up. Let's go back. Oh man, it's just, I mean, 45 degree angle sitting here looking at the screen. It's on the side of me. I got this thing perfectly squared up. Now, ooh, oh, that's my movie right there. Let's go to Coming to America. <laughs> let's, let's watch that one. <laughs> okay, so we'll watch some Coming to America on HBO Max because it does have Android TV built in. And that's just part of what I love about it is that you don't need to hook anything else up to it. Oh, turn that sound down a little bit. Let's put it on mute. So you don't need to hook anything else up to it. It's already ready to go because your content follows you with Android. So if you've got HBO Max, uh, Hulu, Netflix, uh, Disney Plus, and, and Amazon, it's already just waiting for you to just log in and go in here and start watching your content. Now, as Mr. McDowell takes his phone call, I don't wanna be rude to the guy. So I'm gonna go ahead and just finish telling you what I love about this projector. You've already seen this fantastic, beautiful, bright, clear picture that you can watch in ambient light with the curtains open, with lights on, uh, and it's still gonna be just as clean and clear, or, you know, it's, I mean, it's ambient like come on with a projector but this allows the average person to just grab a, a projector this is where we're headed now i think more people are going to start using projectors if they start making them like this and being q is ahead of the game here because this thing it's not portable you do have to plug it in but once you plug it in you have all this power literally at your fingertips drop it on a side table right here whether it's in a bedroom or in the living room and you have a dedicated space or even just a wall and you can just blast 150 inches worth of, worth of content onto your living room wall if you want to. It's got the features that the, the movie buff, the person who's actually into their AV, it's got features that'll satisfy that person such as the arc support, the color, you know, the color uh, customization you got there, the audio customization, but it's also very user friendly and it has the AI built in to help out the person who's not tech savvy at all, who just wants to watch a humongous picture with some really good sound. Now I'm no expert in this kind of stuff, but what I do know is I'm gonna go ahead and kick back and finish watching this movie coming to America. This is a classic. Look, if you haven't watched this movie yet, this is an Eddie Murphy classic. And we can't be friends no more until you actually watch it. So y'all keep being good to each other and I'll see you when I see you. Do your homework now. <laughs>